KCBS Newstime 932. Aspirin, greasy food, or hair of the dog, all things that some swear by when dealing with a hangover, but do they work and which one is best? For some tips, we turn now to the KCBS Ring Central Newsline and talk with Dr. James Pinckney, who is a medical expert with Diamond Physicians. Well, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Um, first of all, I guess um, we should probably talk about what it is that actually causes that hangover. What happens in the body when you drink alcohol? Well, good morning and happy new year. Uh, and yes, when you have a hangover, it's actually caused mostly by dehydration. Uh, alcohol is actually a diuretic. So your body can expel up to four times as much liquid as you intake um, if you partook in some libations last night. Now, the other half of uh, the hangover is caused by something called acetaldehyde. And alcohol is broken into acetaldehyde in the liver. And it's a carcinogen, so that carcinogen can build up in the body and cause the headache, um, lethargy, fatigue, body aches, and, and things of that nature. I've heard that champagne can be especially rough for some folks. Um, champagne can be tough. Typically, if you're drinking the more refined champagnes, you'll have less of a hangover than drinking the more uh, lower-tier champagnes, and that's because of something called congeners, which is a toxic byproduct of fermentation. So... The, the higher premium beverages have less congeners, as well as light-colored drinks typically have less compared to dark-colored drinks. So bourbon is more potent than vodka, and red wine would be more potent than white wine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what about um, the greasy foods, the hair of the dog, tomato juice, all those things? Is there anything that really works to get rid of a hangover this morning? Well, unfortunately, the hair of the dog is, is, a, is a myth. Uh, if you do drink a lot of alcohol, you actually can go into withdrawal the next day. So having an alcoholic beverage will help ease the symptoms of withdrawal, but won't do anything for your hangover. The greasy food, unfortunately, is going to be a little too late. Uh, I do recommend a pregame meal, so a, a high-fiber, uh, healthy, unsaturated fat meal, like a spinach salad with a piece of grilled salmon is a great pregame meal. But after you've already uh, drank too much alcohol, it's very hard to reverse those effects. Now, you can take an ibuprofen, which is a prostaglandin inhibitor, which helps reduce inflammation, and those congeners can actually cause neuroinflammation, and ibuprofen can help with that. Okay, what about those um, hangover pills uh, that are out in the market right now? Yeah, you know, unfortunately, we don't have any medical evidence-based studies that support that any of those pills are effective. I've heard a lot about taking B6, B12, B-complex vitamins, but we just don't have the medical evidence to back uh, those reports. All right. Some people swear by, like, burnt toast because of the carbon. Um, is that helpful at all? Now, that would, that would be helpful before you drink because uh, carbon charcoal, we actually use that in the ER to help absorb alcohol. Uh, but unfortunately, if it's already gone through your system, the burnt toast isn't going to help too much. Now, that's why I recommend that pregame meal because food actually slows down the absorption of alcohol in the stomach and in the small intestine. All right. So I guess the word to the wise would be take some of these preparations before or don't drink at all. Exactly. Now, you can't exercise. Exercise uh, releases endorphins that can help you feel better. Uh, that's one thing that you can do to kind of ward off that hangover. Oh, sure. Everybody wants to go to the gym right now in the morning <laughs> after New Year's. <laughs> okay. Well, well, we'll take that under advisement. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> okay. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well.